Hey everyone, it's Brenda with Stampin' Up! Today I just have a quick little card to show you that I made for a friend of mine who just lost her mother. And being that it's the month of Mother's Day, um, it's going to be a very, very difficult time for her. So I wanted to make her another card, even though I've sent her a sympathy card. Um, this card can also be used as a Mother's Day card. So I wanted to show you this real quick before I send it. So uh, my friend loves hearts, so I decided to do the heart from the um, Country Bouquet, which was carried over from the new... Uh, from the mini catalog. It is a two-step stamping uh, set. I did use the Stamparatus for this to get a dark color. I used Flirty Flamingo and I actually used Pear Pizzazz which just retired because I had the cardstock left and I like the way the Pear Pizzazz looks with the Flirty Flamingo. So you can use any green you have if you don't have Pear Pizzazz. Um, so then, um, I have the sentiment came from seasonal branches, which is brand new in the annual catalog. You're in my thoughts. And on the inside, I put, I just want to hug you. And that comes from happy labels, which was also carried over from the mini catalog. And then the sentiment here was cut out with stylish shapes. You've seen me use these before. I use this small banner here. All right. For this shape here, I used countryside corners. And if you've seen my other videos, um, you will know how this works, but I'm going to show you again um, real quickly. Um, but before I do that, let me show you the paper I used was from Hello Irresistible, which is an online exclusive. It's not in the physical catalog, but you can get it online. And uh, I used this one right here. All right. So that's that. The ribbon is actually not stamping up. They didn't have anything, but I ended up having this ribbon um, from Hobby Lobby, and it looks almost exactly like... 30 flamingo so I wanted to use um, a pretty ribbon um, I'm a little disappointed with the ribbon that came out in the new catalog it's not really a lot of pretty stuff I really liked that white crinkle ribbon that they had I really liked that it was so pretty um, but anyway so that's what that is so what I did this stamp stamps this entire image all right so I wanted to be able to stamp a border and not have all this in between. Now, one thing that you can do is you can take the dies and you can cut out and just make a border, okay? Or you can cut this out and then cut out another one over the top, but that's gonna be smaller, okay? I wanted this size and I wanted the border around it. So, what I did is I took the stamp uh, this can be used in your Stamparatus or, or any stamping platform. You can just use it flat on a flat surface, which is what I did, okay? First thing I did is I took the smallest one, okay, so the, not the smallest. This is the one I used, and the next smallest is the one that I used, and I cut out a piece of cardstock. I did try using scrap paper and that doesn't work because you're going to ink over it and the ink will go through to the stamp so it has to be thick and I just took this piece of cardstock and I laid it over the top like this to cover up what I didn't want all right and then I took my ink and I stamped this up all right now it does get a little messy, but I just held it down with my finger to make sure it stayed in place. All right, all right, like that. Then I carefully lifted this up and I took my cardstock and I just laid it gently over the top and press and rub very lightly, but enough pressure that it's gonna pick up that ink. Okay, 
and then just lift off and there we go so then all you have to do is take your die and cut this out and you've got this all right and that's how you do that so i wanted to show you how i did that and uh, so that is my video for today um, i have uh oh i just inked my <laughs> i always end up inking this up and it gets all messy by the end of the month anyway that is my card i wanted to show you real quick because i want to get this mailed out and i want to uh, make sure she gets it before i put my video out because she does sometimes watch my videos so I don't want her to see it before she gets it. Um, anyway, like I said, this would make a beautiful Mother's Day card if you're looking for a Mother's Day card idea. And that is my video for today. My hostess code here for May. And uh, if you haven't checked out the new catalog, um, make sure you do that. There's a lot of nice little things in there. Um, and that is it. If you need anything or you have any questions, uh, reach out to me. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.